Welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner, and this is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now this tutorial is how to add a colored vignette. Now, a lot of people have been requesting this saying, Jack, you know, the vignettes come in elements are either black or they're white. I wonder if we want to add some color. Is that possible? Well, yes it is, and it's very easy to add that color to our vignette. But we're going to make a vignette by hand instead of using the tools that's built into elements. First of all here what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our background by using Command or Control J. You're going to take this and what we're going to do here is we're simply going to make a selection using our elliptical marquee tool. Let's go ahead and now just pull down from the top make a selection. I found that using the marquee tool is a great way to make a nice circle and it looks really good, but it's very hard to try to figure out where you got to start to pull it down. So we need to resize this a little bit. If you go under select and transform selection, now we can start and we can pull this out a little bit. And nobody ever said your vignette has to be perfectly uh, a perfect circle. This is going to be kind of oblong shaping. And we're going to bring this over here. Like uh, right about there. Pull this down here. That looks really good. Then click on the checkbox here. Or you can simply hit your enter key. Now what we want to do is with this still selected. We want to go up to our select. And we're going to go to feather. And we're going to feather this out to 175 pixels. You'll see why in just a few minutes. Click OK. Now with that done, what we're going to do now is simply go to Select, Inverse, or you can hit uh, Command, Shift, and the letter I. Once that's done, hit your Delete key on your keyboard. And if we shut the visibility off on that background layer, you'll see now that those are transparent pixels. Now with the first layer selected, you're going to hold down your command or your control key and click on new layer. The reason we do that is the layer will fall below layer one and not above it. So that we have it below layer one, we're going to go ahead and add our color that we would like to use for the actual vignette. Okay, so we create our new layer. Now the easiest way to go about this to add your background color is to come over to your color picker, pick the color you would like to use, go up to select, deselect everything. All right, so there's nothing selected, but we're on our layer two now. Come over to our paint bucket tool, and simply click once. That's going to add whatever color vignette you want to use. So now you can really spruce up your pictures. I have to give credit out to a really good friend of mine, Kevin Rice. Kevin actually uh, worked the other day. We uh, discussed this back and forth and found the best way to come up with a uh, really good looking vignette. And it was Kevin's feathering technique that really pushes it over the edge. So if you've enjoyed this video tutorial, please check out my website, jackstechcorner.com. There's a great Photoshop Elements uh, three volume DVD set in there. It's going to teach you from the very basics to the more advanced. And you too will be a really great Photoshop Elements editor. And there's also a Lightroom DVD in there. So if you want to learn Lightroom, now you can learn Lightroom 4. So check those out. I'm sure you'll be happy you did. If nothing else, please donate to the shows to help these shows keep being produced and uh, released to you out there on YouTube. And... You'll be uh, helping us out to help you out. Once again, my name is Jack. This is Jack's Tech Corner. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe today. Take care and have a great day. Bye for now.